Interested in learning more about taking status of the class using my calendar system? Here's a video blog entry by The Teacher Studio. If you are new to taking status of the class, status is a great way for teachers to constantly be in touch with what each and every student is reading. It is also a great way for students to hear what others in the class are reading and to get excited about books. Teachers often take status using a class list where they write down book titles and what page each student is on. I do things a little differently. Like with many of my products, I try to include as much information as possible so that you know exactly how to use this resource. You will find photographs showing actual examples as well as written information to help you know exactly what to do. This video blog post takes it even farther. Everything you need to successfully use this resource are included, including directions, photographs, and full color calendars for the year, as well as black and white calendars. This product is updated every year, so once you buy it, you can re-download it each year with the updates. So are you ready to see more? Here is the actual binder I have been using for the last few years, and I will show you some of the features as we roll. You will notice in this, it is not neatly done. It is definitely work I do on the fly. Um, if you watch in the next sections, I'll point to some different features. Here you will notice where I record fluency checks when I sit down and read one-on-one -on -one with a child. I can use that for fluency grades on our report card. When a student finishes a book, I simply write a capital letter F in a circle and it helps me at a glance see how many books each child is finishing. You can see that I copy each month on a different color, so I can quickly flip to the sections I want. Each student gets one page of my binder because I fill it up all month long with notes. Let's look a little closer at some actual student work. You'll notice the orange tabs on the sides of the page. I put those on the students who I want to make sure I meet with every day. Here you can see I've written book titles and the page that this child is on. You will also see some brief notes about accuracy and other things that I notice when letting the child read just a paragraph or two to me. When I do, I can make notes like, oh, I think this book is too hard. Sure enough, she abandoned it. That's the A the next day. She was absent on this day, and I like to keep track of that. I also record when I want to take a fluency check where I read a little bit longer. At the bottom of every calendar page is a place for you to write goals or things you want to work on. This keeps you a little more focused. Sometimes I don't feel like I need to meet with a student as often, like this student, who isn't really Becky, by the way. And I can use this page, which is in the resource, to jot down the notes I take if I'm not meeting as often. I can still take a fluency score, but in this case, we're working on deeper comprehension. When I flip the page over, I can use it for an instructional tool, almost like a whiteboard. You can see this student had some simple errors. She was mixing up quiet, quit, and quite. We talked about that. She did not know the I-O-U-S ending, so we brainstormed some words together. She did not recognize that you can drop an E to add an ing, and it made it hard for her to read words like balancing. And I taught her the U-N-I prefix. I think you'll find that this resource offers a ton of flexibility, no matter if you teach in small groups or a reader's workshop approach, or even if you use a reading series and want to keep track of what your students are doing. Helping students develop a love of reading is one of my passions, and I love having these daily little mini conferences with each and every child. Taking status of the class is a great way to get to know your students as readers, to get to know them as people, 
and to help them grow as readers and learners. I hope you've enjoyed this video blog by The Teacher Studio. Make sure to visit me at www.theteacherstudio.com. This resource is available at my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Want to make sure you don't miss a thing from The Teacher Studio? Check out all these different ways to follow along. Thanks for stopping by!